Hey guys, it's Josh, and today I just wanted to cover adding the affiliate disclaimer above the content, and uh, I've seen a lot of stuff online where people are saying it gets pulled into their meta descriptions, so today I'm just going to explain how you can get around that and stop it from becoming a pain in the rear. So, when you look at the screen right now, you'll see that you know, standard style disclaimer up at the top, which basically is just, you know, what's required from Amazon to say specifically that I'm making come from this and that you're not, it's not just of my own goodwill that I'm giving you a link, it's, that it's for my benefit. And a lot of people, when they do this kind of setup, have had issues where uh, Google pulls the first content from their site, and so the disclaimer ends up being you know, the first 200 and some characters out of this instead of something from the content itself. Uh, over time, Google tends to fix that anyway, but in this case, you can get around this in a simple way. And I've done it inside my site here. If you go in and you inspect elements, you'll actually see inside here, there's an element called Google Off. And that basically says that anything within this tag isn't in the index so this text doesn't appear on every single page on every single uh, post uh, to google this section doesn't exist it'll be crawled and a link will still be seen by the crawler but as to indexing this text doesn't exist and then afterwards you have to put the google on and tell it that it wants to index everything after this point again so what this allows is that when google reads through it reads everything to here it skips this and then continues indexing from here. So you could put chunks of text into your posts that fully won't ever be indexed by Google. And it's kind of the same idea as to um, if you didn't want it to grab specific sections for the snippet, you could highlight a huge section of your text and say no snippet for this whole section except for the answer statement that you want it to be. And technically that would work out very well. Um, except for if the answer statement could work in multiple different ways with the context of your content. So I do it this way. Um, if you come up here, you can see I have a post that's actually out there that I'll put in the contents, and I've gone over the disclaimer before. This one's just kind of an addition to it to add on the stripping of Google from indexing this section, which means it won't show up in the meta, it won't show up anywhere else. And I use code snippets so that I can inject it before the content. And within the code that I've presented inside the post, you'll have the option to, uh, on the top line, basically only show it on posts where you put a tag of affiliate. So it'll only show on those ones where you put an affiliate link. Or you can turn on the second one with, so uh, you can comment to turn off lines of code or uncomment to leave them on. So you need one of the two open. And what this top one does is um, if it's a post and it has the tag affiliate applied to it, then it will display the, the disclaimer. The bottom one is just saying if it's a post, show it. And then I leave before the ability to add in uh, posts either by slug or by uh, page or post ID. So you could put the disclaimer on a resource page or um, other pages that you want to do. That's why it's just there. But as you can see, this Google off doesn't render because it's just it's just a HTML reference as to what the bot has to do. So it's going to run and it's going to skip this section, basically, which means that your content is going to be perfect for you and for your users. And you're not going to have to worry about the meta being wrong. Um, really, I decided I would go reevaluate this after Carl was talking about doing it as an image. And I don't prefer images because images all take load time and uh, I don't, text is instant. And so I always prefer text. I just had to go research a little bit more to understand why and how this occurred so frequently for people. Um, I think up till that point, it was always after the content, so it would almost never be seen but putting it before the content means you have to pay attention to it more. So hopefully everybody appreciates this. Uh, please like and subscribe, leave me comments, 
and I'm going to go ahead and make sure the link has the link to the post so that you guys can look at whether you want to add code snippets and then add this this way or if you want to try and look at whatever way you can within your own. Um, I'm fairly certain if you use like Elementor you can uh, in that little intro uh, thing kind of like what um, WP Eagle and Alex have done, you could probably put it in there as an H uh, as a code instead of as a free text, and that way those would still exist on the front end, um, which would replicate the same thing, but remove an image. And I think removing the image count actually helps you load faster by default, but that's because text is near uh, impossible to scale against as an image. Uh, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys here soon. I tried to keep this one short and sweet. And I turned the volume up because people said it was too quiet. Hope to hear from you guys soon. Uh, talk to you later. This is Josh from ProBlogger Income.